Hello YouTube fans and welcome to Retire in Lake Chapala, where we provide you with all the information you need to make informed decisions about moving to Lake Chapala. My name is Ricardo and along with my partner Michaela are realtors with Lake Chapala Real Estate. You know, once in a while there's a post on Facebook that really hits to the core of the matter and is helpful for people like you who are considering retirement in Lake Chapala. Recently there was just such a post and I was interested in finding out the answers. The question was, for those of you who live full-time in the area, how would you finish the following sentence? I wish I would have known more about blank before making my move. I love it. I went through the 188 responses and correlated the data from most mentioned to least mentioned. And you might be surprised by the answers. The number one response to I wish I knew more about blank before making my move was Spanish. It seems that even though people knew they were moving to a Spanish-speaking country, they were still surprised at how much Spanish they needed to know in order to live in Lake Chapala. Yes, you can live just fine in Ajijic without knowing any Spanish at all, but your world becomes very small. As soon as you venture out of the village, even a little bit, the need for Spanish becomes a priority. So I'm telling you now, the more Spanish you know, the better your life here will be. So get started. The number two response was health insurance. Now this is something you all should have researched ahead of time. You know, I can't even imagine moving to another country and not looking into this before making the move. So when you come for a visit, take the time to meet with an insurance broker and sit down with them and get some quotes. Also mentioned was medical, which ties into this. Now this is basic 101 retirement preparation planning and is part of a retirement seminar where we take people to see a doctor to discuss private hospitals, medical government health care plans, evacuation insurance, and so much more. We also arrange for a visit with an insurance specialist to get quotes on health insurance specific for your needs and personal wealth. The number three response is, I wish I knew more about the culture before making my move to Lake Chapala. It appears that there are people moving down here that are having troubles adapting to the culture of Mexico. And this is not uncommon. There's uh, really no way to prepare yourself for the culture shock other than living here. Some things mentioned in the thread were the difference between men and women in Mexican culture, dressing, and the hidden meanings behind Mexicans not saying no. Now there are some things you can do to help with culture shock, like keeping an open mind, having patience, being kind to yourself and embracing the adventure, but ultimately you either do or you don't. The number four response was noise. Obviously many of these people have not spent enough time here beforehand to figure this out. Mexico is noisy. How bad is it? Well, you can read my blog on how bad is the noise in Lake Chapala and watch the video at the end. I'll put the link in the description below for you. People who answered spoke of cajetes, barking dogs, noisy neighbors, parties, and eventos. What can I say? This is Mexico. And all I can tell you is that you'll get used to it, or again, you won't. <laughs> the number five response was car nationalization. Now, I was a bit surprised to see this one rank so high. Again, it seems like people didn't do their homework. I'll tell you now that it is best to sell your car at home and buy here. The car nationalization process is fraught with danger, and if you don't pick the right person to do it for you, then you might not have done it legally. And this can be a big problem when it comes time to sell. It's not particularly cheap either, costing upwards of $4,000. So do yourself a favor and say bye-bye to your car. Number six, I wish I knew more about patience before making the move to Lake Chapala. It's widely known that Mexico runs in its own time and there is a certain rhythm of life here and no matter what activity you engage in, you are going to need patience. For many of us who have lived north of the border in the rat race, well, this can be difficult to adjust to. You need to remind yourself that you are retired and that it's time to take life just a little bit easier and a little bit slower. This ties in with another mention about not worrying. You know, it simply doesn't pay to get too uptight and worry about things. All is going to get resolved in its own time, or it wasn't worth worrying about in the first place. Number seven, I wish I knew more about myself before making my move. Now this relates back to what we discussed earlier, culture shock, patience, worrying, and being uh, able to adapt to life in Mexico. Number eight, I wish I knew more about building versus remodeling before making my move to Mexico. 
Now I'll tell you right off, uh, I wouldn't even consider building. It's, uh, we did it and it was a disaster, it's more or less. So, uh, and it's so fraught with danger in, in general and it's such an open checkbook that you don't even want to go there. Now is remodeling any better? Well, not really, but at least it's controlled to the point of just a remodel and your downside is limited. Number nine, I wish I knew more about driving in Mexico before making my move to Lake Chapala. I admit it's tough here, we're used to everything so controlled up north, but here driving is more of a free-for-all. It takes practice, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Number 10, I wish I knew more about the internet before making my move. I was surprised to see this one too. Although the internet has not been very good in Lake Chapala in the past, there have been tremendous improvements over the last three years, and there's fiber optic almost everywhere, with several providers to choose from. My advice is to get the best you can afford with one provider and then also sign up to another provider as a backup. After all, it's cheap enough at only 20 to 25 bucks. Number 11, I wish I knew more about the weather before making my move. The weather here is fabulous, but uh, some thought it too cold in the winter or too hot in May. Well, you know nothing is perfect, but this is about as close to a year-round perfect temperature as you can get. For the rest of you, there are fireplaces and space heaters, fans, and air conditioning, but I doubt you're going to need either for more than a few weeks. You can read more about it in my blog, Ahihik Weather, the best in the world, which I'll leave in the description below for you. Number 12 and the final one, I wish I knew more about dengue fever before making my move. Now this is a real concern and we have flare-ups of dengue every few years. Protect yourself during the rainy season if mosquitoes like you and otherwise, like I said, no place is perfect, but uh, this shouldn't be a deal breaker for you to retire in Lake Chapala. Now I didn't make this video to scare anyone, scare anyone off contemplating a move to Lake Chapala, but rather to inform and to bring awareness to the things that you should know about so that you can make the most informed decision possible. There you have it. Thanks for watching, folks, and I invite you to contact me with your questions about what it's like to live in Lake Chapala. Michaela and I are always here for you. Bye for now.